Hey there guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. You see this new weapon on my back? It is the Kurapeko Gun Lance. And to kind of stay with the Kurapeko's Native American theme, it looks like a totem pole when it's fully extended. Yeah, Kurapeko is sort of Native American stuff because if you make his armor, you pretty much look like a Native American. Apart from maybe skin color if you if you selected like a Caucasian character or something. Or a character black as the night. Anyway, in this episode we shall hunt a new monster, the Lagombi. Stupid name, but then again it's for a giant rabbit. So yeah, it shouldn't get a very cool name because it's a freaking rabbit. Is my stamina maxed out? No it's not. Okay. Because blocking will really come in handy against this guy, trust me. Alright, go to one, get a hot drink, because it's way too cold in here, even though I have an awesome poncho to keep me warm. I guess being made of reptile skin kind of gets rid of, get, gets rid of it, its warming uh, capabilities. Anyway, the cutscene for the Lagombi. Oh, there he is. He's up there on the glaciers running like a madman and then sliding on his belly. Because that's kind of what his gimmick is, his belly is like a hard shell, like a snowboard or something, and he can slide and fly, and fly off cliffs and kill himself. But yeah, this guy is basically to the Arzeros what the Great Baggy is to the Great Jaggy. A slightly tougher, reskinned version with only like a handful different moves. He will slide around an awful lot though. Like that, can just block it. And then he'll sometimes just come right back around. Damn it. No, not gonna do it. Maybe I need to piss him off before he starts doing that. See, he zooms off and then... Oh, come on, dude, I'm trying to set an example here. Yes. No, he just stands up. But yeah, you definitely see the uh, rabbit part, I guess. Oh, and he can also throw ice. Which I guess is why his weapons are ice elemental weapons. Even though it doesn't really make sense because the Lagombi has no control over ice by itself. I mean really, all it does is just pick up a ball of snow and throw it. How does that give him ice powers? That'd be like if I picked up, say, a water balloon and threw it at someone. That means I have power over water. Yeah. But yeah, he does move around an awful lot, which might give you a little bit of trouble if you're using one of the slower weapons, like the Gun Lance. Oh crap. That is probably one of his hardest moves to avoid, the uh, spin. He also has the Arzeros' Double Claw Slash. Oh, stunned him. Nice. Doing pretty good here. Oh, shot him in the face. Doesn't care, he just keeps on sliding. Now, as far as breakable parts go, he only has one. You can uh, trim his ears, so to speak. And he looks pretty effed up when he... Ah, oh, damn it. I hate it when monsters stick in the... Stay to the freaking borders of the areas. Because you can never hit them. They're completely safe there. God forbid you kill them there. You can't even carve them in that case. Come on, dude. Get out of there. Yes, you can throw... Oh, you can throw double snowballs. Alright. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay, stunned him out of the slide. How nice. Oh, sweet Cha-Cha, you stunned him. Cha-Cha, you are such a beast. First you knock down the freaking barrel off, now you stun the Lagombi. How can I ever do without you? You know what the best part is? Later on in the game, you're gonna get another one. Oh, look, I broke his ears. See, they are messed up now. Uh... Missed me, missed me again. Jeez, how bad is... Oh, maybe he was aiming for Cha-Cha. Makes sense. What, you fleeing? Nope, just going for Cha-Cha. Gives me time to reload, at least. And bam to the face. Oh, crap. Snowball, block it. Sucker. What you gonna do? Oh, crap. Sharpness dropped. Oh, nice, knocked him down. This seems like the perfect time to reload. And then to Wyvern fire his ass. Nah, no, not enough time. I'll save it for the next knockdown. Surely that's not that far away. 
I mean, geez, I am just tearing this guy to shreds. He is not standing a chance against... Oh, okay, he has a butt drop move, which is not very good. Yeah, this guy is uh, really not all that hard. There's a reason why he was the easy fight in the demo. Because there was a demo for this game. You could uh, fight the Lagombi for the easy mission and the Plession for the hard mission. And yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with the Lagombi in that one. Mainly because I was using all the new weapons on him and I didn't, had no idea how to use them. He was actually pretty hard to fight with the uh, bow. I tried in the demo and he just moves around way too much for that. With all the damp sliding and everything. Oh, you leaving? Yeah, he leaving. Alright, we shall continue this fight in Area 3. And probably end it there, because he doesn't really have a lot going for him anymore. Yes, you can roar all you want, but you're still just a 20-foot a bunny. Not intimidating in the slightest. And I'm not even sure why the hell he's fighting me, because his profile states that he's a herbivore. So what could he possibly have to gain from fighting me for this long? I mean, sure, he tried to run away and I chased him, so he's not gonna get away, but still. Then why stop and fight instead of... Oh, he knocked him... He slided, and he knocked himself down. Yeah, I guess that happens with a couple... Oh, jeez. Okay, there is a lot more range on that than I thought. Also, stupid cat trying to steal my shit. Oh, is he gonna do that every time he's sliding? Oh, then this fight is just over. No cats, you will not steal my stuff. Or you will get run over by a giant sliding bunny. Alright, Legombi. We all know who's not going to be walking away from... Oh crap, he's walking away. Stop contradicting me. And you cats, you are awful at stealing my stuff. Come on. Oh, poked him in the ass. Didn't stop him, but still. Okay, we shall finish it in five then. Home of the Giggies. Oh, but they're not going to screw this up. Though I don't see how this could possibly go bad. Oh, there we go. Well, that was uh, just over five minutes. Wow. What an easy boss fight. Now, sure, I was using a weapon that had the elemental advantage. But still, he just dropped dead so incredibly fast. And we get some claws. Some... What the hell is a plastrum? Is that like some sort of part of his ear or something? Anyone mind telling me what the hell a plastrum is? Because I have no idea. I'm not a vet, never went to vet school. No knowledge about animal physiology whatsoever. Ooh, Giggy Extract. That's new. Don't think I've ever carved that before. Another one. Wonder what I can use to make that. What I can use to make that with. Use that for whatever doesn't matter quest complete yes and now that we have access to the gombi we can farm his easy ass and make some ice weapons which will come in handy against uh, a couple of the desert monsters diablo snibble snarf also kurapeko even though i don't really need to farm kurapeko anymore because i have his gun lance already Alright, how big was it? Come on, show me. About 6 meters. Pretty big for a bunny miracle on ice. Well, what a miracle it was. More like disaster on ice. Oh well. If the new monsters are all gonna be this easy, then I'm gonna be in for a cakewalk. Anyway, what's up, Captain? Oh, we get a new trading land, which means new trading goods. Sure. And it's where he's from. Okay, so you're gonna give me a discount. And I cut out the trading because it was boring as crap. Talk to him. What's up? Mm-hmm, something about the farm. Oh, it's another villager request to patch up the farm again. Uh, where is it? Field of Dreams. Fertile mud, supersized dung, and catalysts. I don't have any of them. Uh, ooh, super shroom box. I can do that. Yeah, here. I'll do the shroom box, I guess. And I also had enough for the honey thing. Alright, here you go. 
two villager requests down, a couple more to go. And lastly, talk to the chief. Oh crap, the lucky Icarus is back. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you think you're up to the task. Oh, excellent. And then he's just giving you advice on fighting the Legaia, Chris. Oh, dear. I had no idea we were supposed to fight him already. I mean, all the monsters so far were easy as hell, and now we're going up against the Legaia, Chris. That's going to be interesting. Okay, sweetie, what do you have? Mm-hmm. Yep, the Legaia, Chris is back with a vengeance. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, okay, we don't need to kill it. We just need to get it the hell away from the island. Repel the Logia, Chris. We won't be doing that in the next episode, because there's still some other stuff to do first. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter. Bye-bye.